Well, as you know, a lot of changes to the bike. I got uh, the new Avid brake setup, and I have new front and rear Avid brake levers. And what is this? Uh, a Magira 5K pot throttle, twist throttle. Thing works excellent. Uh, I also had to add some resistors and series on a couple of the wires to get some dead spots out of it, and make it work with a normal hall sensor controller. I got a nice big new front rotor. I think it's a 210 millimeter. And uh, obviously the Avid brakes. Well, I've been doing tons of work to the bike. Uh, I decided finally it's uh, time to upgrade the brake system. So I stepped up to a bigger new front rotor and I got uh, some Avid brakes on the front and rear. I also got some new brake levers. Look a little nicer. And what is this? Uh, a Magira. 5k pot throttle. They're, uh, they're pretty nice and I'm actually working on a fix for it right now and that fix requires me to put some resistors in series with a couple of the wires and I'm actually working on wiring them up right now. I have uh, four 1k resistors and I'm putting three of them in series and I'm running one of them alone and I'm going to be putting them in some of the on the black and blue wires of the Magira throttle and hopefully this will take out some of the dead spots that I'm having so let's see if it actually works. I got my soldering iron going I'm gonna add a couple of little leads here and then I'm gonna heat shrink them up and uh, put them in the bike. Alright I got my resistors soldered up I have my wires on the ends of them I'm gonna put a little heat shrink over them and shrink them down and then I'm gonna put them into the bike and see if it actually works I'm going to put the 1K on the blue of the Magira throttle, and I'm going to put the 3K on the black of the Magira throttle. Hopefully this will get rid of the dead spots. Uh, I'm kind of excited to see if it works, so let's put them in and see what it does. Alright, I got my heat shrink over the wiring and the resistors, and got my trusty heat gun here, and I'm going to shrink it down. So let's see how it comes out. Alright, success! came out pretty good. Just shrunk it down. Uh, just to be warned, I did set off the smoke detector in my house, so you may want to unplug the battery before you do something like this. Uh, it didn't even smoke, it's just uh, I guess the smell of the heat shrink made it go off. But uh, that's that, so let's put them in the bike and see if it does anything. Okay, I got my resistors that I made up wired uh, in series between my Magira throttle and my uh, output throttle wiring of my controller. Now I uh, just gotta see if they work. I'm gonna plug a battery in. I'm gonna make sure obviously my rear wheel is off the ground just in case anything bad happens. But uh, hopefully it'll fix my uh, problems with my dead spots on the, on the throttle. Alright, let's see what happens. so good. Didn't spin. Wow. It seems to be working because uh, there's no dead spot in the front anymore. It starts instantly and it's not moving with the throttle off. And you can see down here the resistor setups that I made and added in series with my throttle wiring. And now my throttle works great with that, Magira. I still have to change up my rear brakes. I've kind of been stalling because I have to pull my motor off and I don't really want to. So that's the next step to do. But handlebars are starting to look much better. Those uh, pull levers work much better than the old ones. But I'm about to take the bike out with uh, the Konian 20 cell pack and uh, find out how the throttle works. 
Here's the new rear caliper, the Avid Pro Max 715. Pretty awesome stuff for the price. Got uh, some extra brake pads, even though the ones in there are brand new. And I got an Avid uh, 160 millimeter rotor for the rear. Man, this throttle is awesome. Before I put the resistors in, in line with it, it was actually really sloppy and I had uh, a lot of play and it really only had like two or three steps to it. It was kind of scary because the first little punch and it was going 20 miles an hour. Now that I added the resistors, uh, I think from uh, Aussie Jester on Endless Sphere is the one that came up with it. Uh, it's so smooth now. It actually has more low end control than uh, my thumb throttle. I can easily ride at you know five to ten miles an hour now on the first band pretty easily. Takes some getting used to uh, having a twist throttle instead of the thumb throttle, but uh, one thing you won't get is you won't get that thumb that's really cramped up and you're always trying to find another way to hold the throttle open without your thumb trying to rest it. You just gotta watch out over bumps and stuff because you'll end up twisting the throttle a little more than you want. But so far it's very comfortable and I think it's going to be a great addition to my bike.